Hey everyone, Presito here, your second favorite Uniswap ape. So in today's video, I'm going to be covering a couple upcoming, really exciting gaming projects. And obviously, as you know, at the moment, gaming projects are still all the hype. Uh, Metaverse is still uh, doing super well. So it's definitely important to keep an eye on all these projects that are coming up and uh, make sure you're staying up to date and know what's going on. So as I said, I'm going to be covering a couple of these in this video. So uh, let's start straight away with Monkey Ball. And I'm sure a lot of you have heard of it already. Their communities have just blown up with so much hype. I'm super excited to cover this one. So let's see what it's all about. So it's the next gen esports metaverse that enables players to create, play, compete and earn. So Monkey Ball combines high production value, multiplayer gaming with Solana blockchain, NFTs and decentralized finance to deliver an exciting turn-based play-to-earn soccer game that's easy to learn yet hard to master. Play in three modes. So they're going to have player versus environment, uh, which is a training mode to increase your monkey's overall abilities. Player vs. Player, classic game where each player controls the entire team, and Team vs. Team where each team is being played and controlled by multiple players. So they're also going to have um, NFTs, uh, where holding an original monkey gives you special perks, such as airdrop of game tokens, advance your player in a pre-game training camp, early breeding season, early access to stadiums, which is their land sales, NFT drop is planned for December 2021. So make sure to stay tuned for that. So let's go through the FAQs, which answers a lot of the questions you might be wondering. So what is Monkey Ball? As we went through, it's a turn-based uh, play-to-earn arcade soccer game. So matches are played between two teams, each with four monkeys playing the position of scorer, defender, midfielder, and goalkeeper with six rounds of play per half. And the first team to score three goals wins. Uh, back at HQ, you can boost your monkey's ability and in-game performance by caring for and training them, as well as increasing their morale. Stadium owners are rewarded for matches they host, while other players can be spectators and influence the gameplay by cheering for a winning team to increase the gameplay. And when a match ends, the in-game currency token, which is Monkey Bucks MBS, is split between the winning team, the stadium owner, and the spectators who rooted for the winning team. So it honestly uh, sounds super exciting. I really love the concept. How can you participate in the game and earn income? Obviously, that's a really important question. So there's going to be multiple ways to do this uh, for both active and passive players. So you can either own monkeys, build a team, and win matches, own stadiums, and host matches, or be a spectator and earn by cheering for the winning team. And once the match ends, it's split between everyone, uh, like we just said. How do you buy the Monkey NFT? These are going to be uh, for sale in December. Uh, the price isn't, uh, I mean, the date isn't specified yet, but that will be soon, surely, at two Solana per NFT. So it definitely could be worthwhile to get in that. I presume it'll be actually quite tough to get one of those at minting price. But if you have the opportunity, it could be really good. So anyways, uh, let's move on. Uh, let's have a look at some of their key differentiators. So it's built on Solana and backed by Solana themselves, which just that alone is really huge. It has a high production value uh, that's easy to learn and hard to master. As we said, I really like games like this. Easy to get into, but if you really want to be pro and beat everyone, you have to master it. Built on Unity, so it's available across platforms on desktop and mobile, so more people can access it, which is great. It's going to be a passive and active ways to earn, which is also really interesting. And it's going to be the flagship IDO on Star Launch, which we'll get to in a second. But that is huge. Star Launch is super hyped. It performed insanely well. And it's their first IDO. So that is extremely bullish. In terms of their backers, you can see Solana Ventures, Alameda, OKX. I mean, the names go on and on here. It's really, really huge backers. Even eToro is there. So already super bullish on Monkey Ball. So we can actually have a look at the trailer that they posted, which uh, shows how it's kind of going to look in game, which I think is awesome. It's really unique design and graphics. So I'm super excited to try this one out. <clears throat> in terms of the idea, as we said already, it's going to be on Star Launch. It's going to be on the 30th of November with registration opening in three days on the 27th. So make sure 
you ready for that if you want to take part in that if you're holding Solon tokens so we can go through that more in detail now uh, as i said 30th of november is the date and uh, registration opening on the 27th the total supply for mbs is 1 billion with one percent for sale on star launch at a price of four cents so what can you do with uh, mbs token you can breed new monkeys nfts bolster their current ones buy consumable items in the game store and mbs is capped token with a limited supply so the economy of the game uh, if it grows obviously the demand for the token and the price will shoot up of course so if you hold it what uh, perks and advantages do you get it will give you premier access to the much anticipated upcoming nft drop farming mbs for rewards so once the idea is completed that you're going to have a reward plan for holding the token access to the upcoming pioneer gear up camp gear up and accumulate resources before the game begins and with mbs and monkeys nfts be the first to breed the next generation of monkeys which will enable you to complete a team or even sell monkeys in the market and then here's more information on how to take part in the ido on star launch if you want to check that out it goes quite in detail so make sure to check that out if that's something you want to see as we went through already the monkey bucks token uh, is going to be the in-game currency powering the game economy so you get mbs by buying it on dexes opening loot boxes completing missions winning matches being a spectator or hosting games in your stadiums and then you spend it as we said briefly to breed new monkeys and to buy consumable uh, consumable items in the game store and the game's store revenues then sent to the game's treasury then they're also going to have a DAO governance token called score and this is obviously for the DAO, and it will not be sold but you can farm it by holding mbs and it can be staked in the game's treasury for users to vote and gain score rewards for the participation and it also affects how valuable your assets become if you're staking score also gives you early access to nft drops and keep in mind it's a fixed supply token which will gradually release over five years so now we can look more in detail into their tokenomics see the prices and the locks so it's really straightforward which i really like private sale 2.4 cents and launch pad is four cents in terms of the lock private sale only gets five percent on tge and then 18 month linear vesting thereafter so it's quite a big lock on that so it justifies the price being almost half the launch pad price Whereas Launchpad gets 40% on TGE, which is really big, and then 30% in each of the following months. So 60% over the next two months. So really fair tokenomics, in my opinion. Initial market cap is 880,000, which is also really tiny considering project of this caliber in terms of the hype. So it's got tons and tons of potential. We also had an AMA with them in our telegram channel and someone from the community asked a really good question which is most traditional esports gamers will not be playing uh, existing blockchain games as they are not fun but mostly uh, are just playing for economics play to earn so what will they do to actually make it fun and enjoyable for the masses so what they say here is uh, most of the project don't have much effort put into them People create a simple game and hope to get rich quick and they're actually building a full intricate game with Monkey Ball not only are they building a game with the right production value and game experience they're building a game that has potential to bring in a lot of unexposed audience to crypto and P2E so they've got support from DraftKings um, which is a well the biggest and most commonly used esports and sports betting platform so that is really really huge and I agree with them that can really bring the masses to the to their project and their game. So overall, Monkey Ball definitely gets a Chospro. I mean, the hype is unbelievable at the moment. The market cap's really low. It's the flagship launch on Star Launch, which is huge. I mean, uh, I believe they almost have hundred thousand followers on Twitter, which is incredible. So Monkey Ball definitely gets a Chospro from me. So now let's move on to the next project that I want to cover, and that is Solchix, which I'm sure also many of you have heard of already. It's been gaining a lot of hype. Their socials also have tons of followers, and we actually made this infographic for them. One thing to note about Solchix is 
everything about them is huge. I mean, the team is huge. The backers are huge. The launch pads are huge. Even the initial market cap is huge. I mean, the only thing that's not huge about them is actual small salt checks. <laughs> but anyways, let's have a look at what they are all about. So it's an NFT collection at the moment that's going to be integrated into the game. It's a fully integrated gaming metaverse with exciting features. Obviously, it's uh, play to earn. They've got a really huge team. I believe they updated to over 70 people in the team, which is incredible and a lot more than uh, the other gaming projects, which will justify their large raise, in my opinion. They also have extensive partnerships with market leading blockchain institutions. And it's going to be play to earn where you can earn a chicks token, which has governance rights as well through weekly leaderboards and MMR rankings. You can breed salt chicks and sell them in the marketplace, earn in-game rewards such as NFT items, shards of love, uh, which can be traded on real world exchanges and earn salt coins, which is the in-game currency that can be used for various purposes in the game to improve return on time for players. So in terms of launch pads, uh, the question is what launch pad don't they have? I mean, you can see here, it's just insane how many they have and it's really big ones as well. I mean, Red Kite. Gamefi, NFT pad. Uh, I mean, all of these are really good. I mean, I don't want to leave any out because they're good. Super Launcher stands out as well. Star Terror uh, is going to be quite hyped, I think. So it's really amazing. So in terms of their uh, game modes and gameplay, there's PvP where you can test your metal and find out who has the mightiest salt chick. They're going to have raids where you can group up with your friends and battle together. Bond where you can bond with your salt chicks, play and feed them to make sure they are loved and healthy. And then train where you can obtain new skills and power up as you level up and evolve your soul chicks. So now let's check the Telegram. 150,000 members, which is I think the most I've ever seen in any project. So that is really a huge feat. So let's go through their website. They already have a demo, which you can check out if you want. You just have to follow some steps, like follow them and retweet something, and then you can play it, check it out. But we can have a look at the videos to get an idea of the gameplay which i must say looks really amazing actually and you can see here the graphics itself looks awesome and the gameplay looks like it's going to be really fun so i must say i'm really impressed by Solchik's gameplay you can see how it looks and in the interface so definitely looks awesome we went through what it is already we can see here more examples of the gameplay and like i said it looks really cool the graphics are very good i must say for this type of game especially so i'm very very impressed next up let's have a look at the team so here you can actually see all the team members but this is just the ones highlighted and you can see they've got tons of experience uh that's always very bullish and uh that looks really good next up let's have a look at some of the investors and again you can almost say who isn't an investor because there's so many but they're also really good investors. I mean, there's so many to go through here. It's going to be hard to see some that I can pick out. But uh, you get the idea. I mean, GD10 is really good. Master Ventures, AU21. The names are really uh, great here. So that's very bullish. In terms of the launch pads, we went through them already. But uh, you can also see paid is there. So, I mean, it's never seen so many launch pads for a project. But, I mean, it will give it a lot of exposure, which is great. In terms of development on Solana, uh, integrated with Chainlink and so on. Marketplaces, they're already trading the NFTs on so, uh, Solanart, uh, Solsea, Magic of Eden and so on. So now let's uh, move on to the tokenomics. So the, we don't have the token prices available at the moment, I believe, but we can see uh, the distribution and the vesting schedule private seed gets 5% with a six month cliff and then linear vesting for 15 months, which is really huge. I presume they get a really cheap price, but that lock justifies it. Private sale, 10% TGE, three month cliff and then linear vesting over 12 months and public is 25% on TGE, then linear vesting over three months, which obviously is really great terms. Uh, that's going to be on the IDOs. So it looks really good in terms of tokenomics, obviously pending the actual prices. If there's huge discrepancies and something to question, but I don't believe that's something uh, they would do. Then they've also got a really in-depth white paper, which is always great to see and makes you really bullish on the project. I'm not going to go through everything, but you can check it out if you want. It goes more in depth about the game, 
game economy, gameplay, NFT economy, and so on. So overall, Softix gets a Becas Pro from me. Initial market cap is $5 million, which is really a lot compared to anything else I've covered. But like I said, they've got a really huge team and what they're working on is really big. So I do have high hopes for it. And with such a big budget, I'm sure they can get really good exchange listings. I mean, that's to be expected, raising so much. I mean, they can fund almost any listing you'd assume. So I'm really excited to see how that's going to play out. Obviously, you've got a huge selection of launch pads to choose from if you want to take part in it. So pick whichever one you want. I'm sure you're holding one of those uh, launch pad tokens and try to take part in it. Obviously, not financial advice. Anyways, next project I'm going to be covering is Firework Games, which is going to have IDO on the 8th of December on Equinox, which we'll go through a little bit later. First, let's see what it is all about. As it says, become a brave interstellar explorer, choose your camp, form your army, and go together to win interstellar glory. And we can have a look at the trailer video here. And I must say, it really looks amazing. It gives me vibes of Star Atlas and Cedus Heroes, which obviously are two huge hype projects. And this is the same in terms of the fact that it's metaverse and, uh, you know, universe exploration interstellar uh, fighting and so on which i think is really hyped at the moment so i can see this performing really well you can have a look at their website and first off i must say that their graphics and design is awesome it really looks impressive the game itself is called spark error just to keep that in mind so you can go through the website they're going to have different sides that you can pick confederation of earth Omani Zerg, Empire of Amda, the Titans, which sounds already cool. I think my favorite would be Omani Zerg. That sounds quite pro. Reminds me of Starcraft. Anyways, you can build your galaxy fleet. So they're going to have multiple gameplay mechanics. They're going to have stunning TCG gameplay graphics, dueling system of PvP and PvE, combine both galactic exploration and NFT cards, combat trading, exciting daily interstellar missions, and monthly copies. So obviously it's going to be built on the blockchain where the chain assets are composed of galactic NFT assets, uh, which is obviously really good. Gaming construction and assets exchange, including NFTs trading are entirely based on the blockchain environment. And it's going to be an open and free universe era where the ultimate starship development and matching system allow gamers to design their own spaceship starfighters and commanders, which I think is actually really huge considering the other projects, you know, the spaceships come as is and in this game you can actually design your own make it look like you how you want it which is really awesome and it's going to have open and multi-branch choice trees where each major choice will affect the future of the whole interstellar war which is really cool and meta universe so the players will decide the future of the whole universe so let's move on they've got a workshop where the Spark Era Creative Workshop has more than 100 free gears, while Super Gears are also available to enhance your character. Alternatively, you can upload or update your own designed gears, which I think is, like I said, super cool. I mean, you can design how you want it to look. Can you imagine how cool that will look in game with everyone having their own designed things? So you can also do some pretty funny stuff with that. And then integrated professional software gives quick hands-on experience. I'm curious to see how that is going to work out. Um, obviously, it's much better if it's just really easy to use. If you go to their white paper, which I must say, if you have a look through it, it's very impressive. Core members, uh, you can see they've got really uh, good experience. And you can see the CA, uh, CEO actually has previously cooperated and is currently cooperating with Polygon, Coinbase, CoinMarketCap. So that's really, really bullish. In terms of their advisors, they've also got some really big names. I mean, founder of x21 engine starter advisor as well so that's all really good and bullish in terms of their tokens they're going to have two tokens their governance token which is fire token and the utility token which is quark token so fire token is one that's going to be used in the game the unique pass in firework games as one of its in-game tokens which will be used in the in-game economic system as in-game governance currency, uh, Fire Token plays an important role in DAO governance, in-game distribution, and community uh, governance. And this will be launched in Spark Era V1. 
Then the Quark token uh, as one of its game tokens will be widely used in the in-game economic system. As an in-game utility currency, Quark token will be widely used in daily gaming activities such as game trading, NFT assets upgrading, battles, resource collection, and planet construction. Then next up, something on their white paper I noticed that I'm really bullish on is they're going to have burns and repurchases. So that is always re really nice to see when projects do that because that's obviously bullish for the token price itself. Obviously, a lot of people care about that. Obviously, probably everyone that's buying a token cares about that. So they explain here how they're going to be doing the token burns and repurchases. Source of the repurchase funds is going to come from the net game operating revenues from Spark Era, the net game operating revenues from other games as well. All investments by institutions on the platform and other operating revenues in the platform. So that's something to really think about when you're trading their token, uh, that they're going to be doing this, or at least they promise to as per the white paper. So that's very bullish. They also partnered with Good Games Guild, super bullish. And also it's going to be built on Polygon, which is great, low fees. And also to note, the NFT cards are the core asset in Spark Era, and it's an important role in Spark Era Origin, providing enhancement for players' mining activities, instance dungeon battles, and random uh, universe events. Next up, we can have a look at a video of theirs with uh, some more of the sort of gameplay, uh, sort of a trailer, and... As I said before, it really looks awesome and it does remind me of Star Atlas and Cedar Series Heroes in terms of the graphics. Obviously, we'll have to see if it will look like this in-game, but if it does, I mean, this is really going to be huge and I think it looks awesome. Then next up is the uh, Equinox IDO that's coming up. Here's all the details. Participation is going to open on the 4th of December, 9 a.m. UTC, closes on the 8th and the pools open on the 8th as well, a bit later in that day. They're going to be raising $250,000 at $0.08 uh, with a vesting of 10% on TGE, one month cliff, 20% for each month for a period of four months with 10% on month six. So if you're wanting to participate, this is the place to do it. And they are raising quite a substantial amount, so you should have a you know, fair chance to get in. And like I said, the game looks awesome. And as a result, I will give it a Backhouse Pro. We don't know information yet on the hard cap, but if it's really small, it could even be a Chuss Pro. But for now, it gets a Backhouse Pro, which obviously is very pro rating. So super bullish on Firework Games. Next up, we've got Moo Monster, which uh, is upcoming on some really hyped platforms, actually, which I'll go through a little bit later. But as you can see, it's an NFT game, free to play, play to earn, obviously always important. Go on adventure with the Moon Monster in the Mooniverse world. They're going to have NFTs. They're going to have tons of characters, items, and other things that you can own. You can see here they have the different characters that uh, evolve, so to speak. And uh, I think this is a really cool concept. You can see all these different guys. I think this one's my favorite. <laughs> Anyways, they're going to have land NFTs where you can occupy and own land in each of the Mooniverse cities to receive great benefits. They're going to have Metaverse fashion where you can style your characters which I think is a really cool uh, idea. Human equipment, where you can wear various equipment to strengthen your character and fight more powerful opponents. In terms of the gameplay, they have a video here, and I must say it looks really cute. <laughs> I mean, it looks slick, it looks uh, straightforward, and I mean, smooth as well, so that's really good. It looks really fun to play. Game modes, discover the universe and find a variety of fun that await you. They're gonna have PvE where you can go on adventure and fight with your Moomon partner to overcome obstacles and uncover secrets of the world and PvP as well, where you can battle against other players, which is obviously, well, that's my favorite because you can't, uh, against AI, sometimes it's predictable, but against other players, it's never predictable and makes it so much more fun. Then they're going to have more than eight continents on the universe that you can explore. As you can see, the Midworld, Ocean Pearl, Angel Eye, and so on. Then also Metaverse Hype, which is obviously pro, so you can meet and chat with other players to build relationships with each other, which is cool. They're also going to have two tokens, MooCoin, which is a governance token with a total supply of 170 million, which can be used in an NFT marketplace, indexes, staking, events, marketplace, gotcha pond, key, staking, earn NFTs. 
Then they have the GPC coin, which is the golden piggy coin, which is the main in-game currency. And you can use that and earn that in the game by in-game quests, PVE and PVP, marketplace, in-game activities, in-game items and in-game upgrades. Here's a list of their team and who it's developed by. In terms of their partners, they also have really big names here. I mean, they got Bin Starter, Game Starter, Trustpad, NFT Pad, which is the uh, launch pads, which we'll go through shortly. X21 is there, uh, DCI, OIG, I mean, can't go through all the names, but the names here are really, really good. Good Games Guild as we went through. Uh, so that's really bullish. Also, the advisors look really good. Les Lim is there. Uh, Kyle from BBC Ventures. So that's all really good to see. So now let's have a look at the token distribution. The prices are not here, but we can see that Angel, Seed, Private, and then Public, with Angel getting 4% TGE, 3-month cliff, Seed, 8% TGE, 2-month cliff, Private, 11% TGE with 2-month cliff, and then Public, 20%, and linearly over 4 months. And you can see the others linear over longer and longer. Obviously, the prices are probably cheaper and cheaper, so it all makes sense. So now we can have a look at the IDEO platforms as we covered briefly. GameStarter, Trustpad, BinStarter, and NFTPad. And if you haven't been following, BinStarter's latest launches have been doing very, very well. I mean, look, Moonstar, I mean, Moon Monster has 81,000 followers, which is insane. BinStarter has 150. And their past sales did, uh, I mean, I think above 20, 30x. So it is definitely a launchpad to keep an eye on. GameStarter, Trustpad, and NFTPad also really great platform so this is very bullish for Moo monster also partnership with good games guild which is really great and on tg they have 61,000 members which is awesome so Moo monster also gets a Bekas pro uh, definitely want to keep an eye on join their channels if you're interested idea date is going to be 30th of november initial market cap only 300k which is tiny so it's got tons, tons of potential to moon so next up we've got zomfire so Zomfire is also a play to earn shooting game, a zombie game, of course, scavenge and survive. So it's, well, we just said it, but it's an action shooter game. Players will be able to roam through a zombie apocalypse where they must collect gear and fight off zombies. Players will use digital tokens to buy gear to play the game and advance to other levels, complete your achievements for rewards. And if you feel the urge to hunt for valuable NFTs, keep playing and looting and hope you find something rare. Also built on Unity, which is bullish. You're going to be able to scavenge for rare NFTs. There's going to be boss battles and a marketplace, which is coming soon. Fight the Juggernaut. And I must say, I like the way the game looks. It looks similar to uh, Polygonum, which is super hyped at the moment. I uh, really like the style of game. It reminds me of kind of, of uh, Serious Sam. Who will you pick? Laura Smith or Logan Jones? I would pick Logan Jones. I don't know. I like that name. Which NFT weapon will you choose? High-powered handgun, shotgun, or AR? So, up to you to decide. In terms of tokenomics, this is their uh, token distribution, but we'll go through tokenomics shortly. They've also got quite an in-detail roadmap, which is really good. Partners and investors, also some really big names here. X21, Everse, Magnus Capital, and there's quite a lot of others. Engine starters there, but uh, all looks really bullish in terms of that. Advisors, X21, Evers Capital, which is Ash, WSB, you know, it's got over 300,000 followers on Twitter, super bullish. Max Deer from GameStation as well, and Roseon Finance. Their team also looks really experienced. Uh, you can see all the experience they have there. So now we can move on and look at their token allocation. It's going to be built on BSC, which is obviously very great. Low fees and nice and fast. So Seed, 7.5% of listing. Uh, private 10% and public 25%. We don't know the different prices, I believe, but uh, I'm sure it's justified by the various locks. So keep that in mind. And then one month cliff for all of them, except public, uh, where you get 25% every month. That's obviously if you take part in the IDO, which we'll go over shortly on which platforms that'll take part in. So they're also uh, going to have two tokens. They're going to have Zomfire token which is the core utility and reward token for the project where you get rewarded with the token by playing various games and can access features in the ecosystem as it says you'll uh, eventually be able to participate in in-game governance contribute uh, contributing in proposing adding amending or removing features while being rewarded to do so 
gaining access to the game ecosystem, staking, user token as in-game currency for uh, exclusive NFTs, and it can be used to purchase a reward token called Zeds. So then there is the Z token, which is the in-game currency, max supply of one quadrillion, quite a big number. So the utilities of it is in-game activities where you're awarded Z for completing achievements, player upgrades where you can upgrade your inventory capacity, participate in game modes, consumables, storyline, redeem to Zonfi with a tax of 50% initial or 5% reduced per day with 10 days in total. And Z will be burned when purchasing in-game items or services, which is really cool. So in terms of their launch pads, so IDO on engine starter, 1st of December, Game Station, 2nd, and Rosion Pad on the 2nd as well. Rosion Pad is an upcoming launch pad platform that has had some really good launches. Uh, well, at least coming up, they've got really good launches and it looks like it's building up tons of hype. Uh, they're really hustling, so that's definitely one to keep an eye on. Engine starter and Game Station, we all know they've had also really good launches recently. So overall, I'm quite bullish on the launch pads. And I must give it a Becas Pro as well so all of these are coming quite soon definitely stay tuned for them follow their channels if you want to stay up to date follow my channels as well i'll be posting a lot about all of these projects and their biggest announcements so if you follow my announcements channel i'll be posting on there everything about them and thanks for watching guys i'll see you next time